Good day everyone and welcome to another Doodlebug collaboration with my dear crafty sisters, Crafty Mama Diaries, Cheryl Sabado, and Sintang Mayumi. I would like to thank the three of them for letting me join them once again to this amazing Doodlebug card challenge. Alright, so don't forget to put a uh, Hashtag Doodlebug January on your comments so that, uh, or if you share this so that we can actually see it and uh, say hi to you. And thank you for uh, watching and uh, sharing um, this collaboration that we are going to be doing. All right, so again, we are going to be using a Doodlebug from different collections for whatever it is that we have as. For those who are um, new to the channel and you have not uh, seen any of my videos or my live streams, I am Mommy Lala and I am the content creator behind Mommy Guide Inc. So crafting is just a, plays a major part of uh, what we do here in Mommy Guide Inc. So let's start! Okay, so I will be using Odds and Ends, okay, collection. Um, the sad thing is I don't really have access to a lot of Doodlebug products here where I am. So um, the only one that I can um, find for this month is actually this one. It's Odd and Ends, Cute and Crafty um, Die Cut Pieces. Okay, And another Die Cut Pack. It's called Bits and Pieces this time around. Bright Collection. Okay. So these are the only two products um, that I could find. Okay, so I will not be able, I will be using uh, card bases and other stuff from uh, other products. But uh, the main uh, Doodlebug products that I'll be using for uh, this episode are these two. Okay, and on top of this, I will be using some vellum paper. To mute out some of the patterns of the paper so that the sentiments will actually show. I will also be using pads, paper pads from my favorite things. Um, just delightful. Okay, this one. Joyful plaid 6x6 six six paper pad. There you go. And um, stamps from Altenew. The first one is uh, this one. This is the Friends. Okay, so this is the Friends collection. So most of the bigger stamps will be used in uh, the cards that I'm going to be showcasing today. So this is another one. It's called the Crafty Life Altenew um, Stamp Collection. I've had this for quite a while, but I've actually not really used both. So this was a great opportunity to actually um, finally use them up. All right, so I will also be using some um, embossing folders, one of which is uh, this Altenew bunch of balloons. All right, so I actually am using several others, but um, I am not able to show it to you, but I'll be putting it in the description down below for all the materials that I'll be using for today. Okay, so of course, I'll be using my favorite uh, glue, Currently, it's the Barely Art Position glue and some foam tape. And of course, this embossing powders that I really, really love so much. These are the Distress uh, Embossing Glaze from uh, uh, Ranger. If I'm not mistaken, yes, this is from Ranger. All right, so that's the Tim Holtz. Okay, Distress Embossing Glaze. Okay, so the first one is the Vintage uh okay hold on the vintage photo of course okay and then this one i really really love this color okay it's broken china okay and then this one is uh okay smoke hickory hickory smoke okay and the last one is fossilized amber Okay, so those are the four embossing, fo uh, embossing folders, embossing powders, okay, that I'm going to be using to make some of, um, actually all, basically all the sentiments for the cards I'm creating will all be heat embossed and uh, these are the different colors that I will be using. Of course, 
okay, uh, water, um, Versa Mark, okay, for the heat embossing and uh, a lawn fawn, oh, uh, can't find, okay, fresh lavender, okay, to just ink some one of the sides of the cards that I am actually going to be using. All right, so let's head on to the first card. So the first card is this one, and of course, some dots to actually uh, embellish most or some of them. All right, so I'll be using um, A2 cards. Okay, some are side folding, some are top folding cards for the rest of the cards. And a blue plain card stock. And of course, this one's from the My Favorite Things plaid collection. Okay, and this one, okay, the rest are from the Doodle Bug. Uh, either uh, odds and uh, ends or the bits and pieces either bright or the cute and crafty collection okay so i heat and boast i love everything you create keep up the great work okay so and i'm using just this single um die cut from the doodle bug pack okay so the theme mostly for the cards that i'm going to be making today are um, clean and simple so being the start of the year January so I just want to make things you know basically easy and clean and simple for everyone next card so for the next card okay we're gonna be using this okay and again another a2 size uh, card base this time top folding okay and then this one okay the okay um, I actually embossed use an embossing folder i don't have the embossing folder right here right now okay so most of this uh backgrounds that you see uh, that i have dry embossed actually are these are rejects okay that i used or uh, that i did in my uh, past episodes but i'm trying to reuse them for my cards for as card bases for uh for this episode so and then i also did a little bit of inking on the dry embossing <coughs> excuse me prior to the actual running it through the um, embossing machine or die cutting machine and then so this is how it looks like okay so that would be the base and then i i used a vellum and embossed the uh, the sentiment onto directly onto it using uh, the team halts 
Um, this is the fossilized amber to um, heat emboss it with. And I am using uh, this one because if I um, actually put it directly onto here, then uh, it won't be seen, right? Because this is already an embossed background. So, but then I still want the background to be seen a little bit. So using uh, vellum paper is the solution that I found best uh, for, for this one, for this card. Okay, and of course I chose, okay, um, some die cuts from, again, the Doodlebug collection that I'm using. Uh, the odds and ends and the uh, bits and pieces for cute and crafty and bright. Okay, so this is a very cute, okay, uh, like a tape, uh, what do you call this? Tape, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, tape cutter? Tape. Put it in the chat. I forgot what this one is. Of course, a piece of pliers, round pliers, and uh, inks. Okay, so since this is yellow, I decided to make it monochromatic and just basically use touches of yellow and gray and white just for, for this card, right? So let's put it all together now. Card number three. This is the card. So how long is okay? So for card number three, again an A2 size. Okay, so this one. Okay, this two. And then if you can see, I, I made a mistake here. Um, I wasn't using a Misty or a stamping platform. I was using just using a stamping block, so I couldn't go back for it. Apparently, I wasn't able to put enough embossing ink onto this one. So when I was trying to emboss it, it didn't work. So what I did was to stamp the same sentiment on a vellum, and I will just cover it on top like this, you know, later on. So that will cover the mistake. And then these are uh, the die cuts from the Doodlebug collection that I will be using for this card. And of course, some uh, okay, some of uh, this blings. Okay. So let's start.
for card number four we're again just using this one okay so this one actually is um i created the background using jelly um monoprinting using a jelly plate so again the the backgrounds that i'm going to be using most of the time were rejects from previous projects of mine but since i didn't want to throw them out because i said maybe i can use them for other projects so this was for me a little bit perfect so you see this one i said oh this looks like a probably like a top of a mountain or a road so perfect for this kind of sentiment it's like the the, the car is on top of a hill or something right and uh the background can be you know an amazing you know probably uh sometimes during sunset or uh you know sometimes the background can look a little bit like this i said okay this is a nice background so and then i added the sentiment and then heat embossed it okay sending you crafty hugs and for this one i used the vintage photo for that one okay so let's assemble it number five okay so for card number five okay again this one I'm going to be using this is the part where I use this embossing folder okay and then I just cut the excess because it's bigger um, just turned it into a and then made it a little bit smaller than an A2 card base okay and then for this one I just chose two die cuts from the doodle bug pack then I'll put it like that and then this one also came with the with the odds uh, with the bits and pieces of the bright and then I just um, added some embossing uh, ink onto the side so that I can put a little bit of this broken china onto the sides to make it coordinate with the background and uh, just heat embossed the sentiment happy crafting over there and then I plan to put just a little bit of this bling onto it so let's start six okay so for card number six okay again another a2 card 
this one okay so it's a layering of pattern and a little bit of uh, solid cardstock but this one I stamped with crafty friends our best friends and then heat embossed it and then put this there okay and something like that that's it number six all right a card number seven okay so for this one same size okay this is another one okay this is dry embossed and when i did it i inked it I inked the dry embossing folder and this is what it looked like. So it really looked like the wood. I uh, debossed. On the debossed side, I added some ink. Okay, and this is what it looked like. Okay, and then I used vellum and uh, inked this using a vintage photo. Okay. And so I will put it like that and then of course add the uh, ephemeras okay ink paper and stamps okay so where's the stamp okay so like that okay so and of course So probably like like so.
move on to card number eight. Okay. So for card number eight, I'll be using okay, a top folding one, top folding card. Okay, another my favorite things, plaid paper. And this one um is uh what do you call this? This is a cover die uh with uh embossing in it. Okay, so it's like combination cover die with uh, embossed background so and then I will cover I'll put that one underneath so we can still see a little bit of the color from um, the pal from the color palette of uh, the doodle bug collection okay because I felt that if you do it like that nicer this way okay and then I would the sentiment is just heat and bows it's make a beautiful mess today and so I added a little bit of messy you know um, heat embossing on the sides um, I this one I used uh, broken china again distress uh, embossed glaze okay and then I will put the, the doodle bug die cuts okay there make a beautiful mess okay so and then i will put it like those over here okay actually it's probably nicer if i do it like that okay so something like that okay so this is for this card okay <music> okay so that's card number eight okay so for card number nine just another a2 size card okay so okay and then i used uh an embossing die to actually create the, like the stitch around uh, to the side of you know the background paper so and then i stamp eat sleep craft and repeat and then heat emboss it with distress embossing glaze uh, uh broken china and i will attach this to the base and then of course the die cuts from the doodle bug collection i just chose this coordinating colored die cuts and we'll put them like so okay see Again, very easy, clean and simple uh, projects.
So last but not the least, okay, is for card number 10. Okay, again, I'll just uh, do a little bit of matting for the printed card stock and then just simply put in the send the die cut the doodle bug die cut and again since this is too much too busy of a pattern i didn't i felt that if i embossed uh, the sentiment directly it will get lost so i uh, i used uh, i embossed it on a vellum paper and then we'll put it in like that okay so and then just put in a little bit of bling so that's how fast this card is. This card number 10. Crafters gonna craft! Indeed, we are going to craft and craft we will for the rest of 2023. Okay, so let's check out again all the 10 cards that we have created today. Again, thank you so so much for joining me today for um, the doodle bug card challenge it's a collaboration again with crafty mama diaries cheryl sabado and sintang mayumi so i have put also the description down below so that you can also visit their channels and watch their own takes on this amazing challenge for january don't forget to Put the hashtag doodlebugjan, J-A-N, okay, when you um, share this or um, when you put your comment onto your socials and uh, share um, our collaborations with some of your amazing crafty friends as well. Again, hope to see you again on this channel for many more amazing crafty and artsy episodes. With that, thank you so, so much and God bless you all. Bye!